Here we go. We're live. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome to WeTips West Coast, East Coast Siblings, where we break down your favorite movies and TV shows. Today, we got the new Batman Long Halloween trailer. This is part of the new DC um, animation universe that was all reset. If you remember, the last uh, DC Trinity movie we kind of had was Superman Man of Tomorrow, which I actually liked a good bit. The animation style you had to get used to. I'm still not really a fan of it, but I guess it's growing on me. And Man of Tomorrow was pretty good when it comes to Superman. So we're going to be breaking down the Batman Long Halloween trailer. This is based off a comic book, uh, The Long Halloween, um, which sees Batman going toe to toe with uh, basically all of his villains, uh, Joker, um, everybody. Harvey Dent kind of gets an origin story in this. Um, so I thought it was pretty good overall. The animation style, again, is brand new. Uh, but the synopsis is the same as the comic book for the most part. Now, I will say um, that I think that this will probably be not too accurate as far as the comic book, as far as sticking true to the story in the in the actual comic. Um, they're going to take some liberties here, and that is because they are reestablishing the DC uh, universe as far as cartoons go. And so they're probably going to use this movie to set up the next big story that they're doing, just as they did in the old universe, where every story was kind of like a riff on the classics and the classic stories. So um, I I I'm okay with that, honestly, because they are reestablishing all of these characters like Superman and Man of Tomorrow. He uh, faced off against Lobo and a couple of other characters. Um, and so, but they're, they're doing that in combination with an origin story, et cetera. So, you know, th that's, that's what's going to happen. So basically the short and the short of the story is Batman. Um, he's actually on a Gotham city bank board and somebody, this new calendar man character really is going and killing these people, but it seems like he's only doing it on certain holidays. And so, <clears throat> So, oh, my phone's going off there. So, sorry about that. So, he, Calendar Man's off killing different characters, different people, and they're all trying to figure out who it is. And then Joker ends up detonating or trying to detonate some of the Joker's toxin, his gas, Joker gas, um, in Gotham City Square, because he thinks that this new perp is there. And he's like, oh, well, there's only room for one psychomaniac, you know, there's only room for one Joker in Gotham. And so you have a little bit of a rivalry with Joker um, as well in this. And so Batman's kind of trying to figure it all out. And as I said earlier, you also get a Harvey Dent origin story in this. Um, so they're, they're going to do a lot to stick with this. You also have Solomon Grundy in this story. Um, a lot of his different uh, villains but at the end of the day, I think that they're going to use a lot of this story to establish kind of Batman in this new universe as it was all reset by the Flash. Um, so Catwoman is in this as well, Selena Kyle. And Batman is kind of on and off dating her. I mean, always in the comics, but in this story, it's kind of on, on again, off again. Um, so basically, this killer, this unknown assailant, his, his calling card is basically a pistol that's untraceable and a baby nipple, the, like a like a baby bottle nipple that he uses as like a crude silencer. And so that's how they're connecting all of these murders that are that that are happening now. Uh, basically, Bruce gets together. Well, Batman as Bat Bruce as Batman gets together with Commissioner Gordon and their goal now is to take down Falcone. Uh, Falcone and uh, his crime organization. And so he's been living in Gotham for the longest time, just skirting the law, bending the law, but never really breaking it. And so they're like, okay, it's time to get him off the board. And that's where Batman's position on the Gotham City Bank comes into play. Um, he He's on the board and he tries to get one of their operatives, the Falcone operatives, um, who's also on the board, they try to get him removed. He's kind of acting as the CEO. Um, so honestly, I think this is going to be a pretty good story. I mean, if Men of Tomorrow is is any kind of kind of, uh, I guess, test run of this new DC universe, then then I'm pretty excited for it. But I will say this, you know, again, the, the animation style is just a little hard to get used to, especially because it's such a drastic um, kind of turn from what we had before with the DC cartoons, where the, the, the animation style was a lot more trying to be realistic. And so I think that with this, it's just a little bit more less detailed, 
but it's fresh, I guess. It's it's something different. And honestly, if the stories are good, I'll deal with any of it. Like I said, with Man of Tomorrow and, and what will be with Batman Long Halloween. So the trailer just dropped today. So a link will be down in the description below if you want to see that whole trailer. Um, I'm not going to play it here on this video just because it seemed to get copyright issues um, every time I try and play a trailer with you guys and react to it. So we'll figure that out. I'll be talking to, uh, I guess, some some customer help or whatever um, with, with Batman. But yeah, so ultimately, I think this is going to be a good story. And I will keep you guys posted when the new when any new trailers or whatever come out. Also, obviously, I'm following all the Snyder Cut stuff, um, all the Falcon and the Winter Soldier stuff all of the uh, new Black Widow trailer, all of that is being covered here. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you don't miss. Um, and I will be back with more. Well, Supergirl comes on tonight as well as The Flash, so you don't want to miss that. Stay tuned. Um, Flash is in its, I mean, Supergirl is in its final season, so I'll be looking for it to be uh, good. <laughs> so uh, stay tuned for that. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.